Greetings students. Today we are going to learn about the world's third largest manufacturer of motorcycles and the second largest in India. Most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company Bajaj for sure. Let us do this company in a much better way. Bajaj Group is an Indian conglomerate founded by Jamna Lal Bajaj in 1926, Mumbai. Bajaj Group is one of the oldest and largest conglomerates based in Mumbai, Maharashtra. The group comprises 34 companies and its flagship company Bajaj Auto is ranked as the world's fourth largest two- and three-wheeler manufacturer. Some of the notable companies are Bajaj Electricals, Mukhan Limited and Bajaj Hindustan Limited. Involvement in various industries that include automobiles, two- and three-wheelers, home appliances, lighting, iron and steel insurance, travel and finance. The group is headed by Rahul Bajaj. In your business, Bajaj Autos had, had to adapt to competition and to world standards and to its ability to export now in many different countries around the world. What was the key ingredients again to make that transformation happen on an industrial basis? Quite a few, uh, but at the brief time available to me, I mean, we have a steel company, electricals company, sugar company in the group, but yes, you referred to Bajaj Auto, which makes motorcycles and three-wheelers. Now, we were in the license permit triage, we were full of, full of flab, inefficient, uh, high cost, low quality, and still Bajaj scooter and three-wheeler had a 10-year, not week or month, delivery period. No other scooter sold. It was only the Bajaj, it was Weeble, it, it, the best quality. But the bars have changed. What was best quality then is poor quality today. So we had to improve productivity, efficiency, quality, everything else. Uh, and for that, the management had to change in terms of the older people went, younger people came in. Over the last 10, 12 years, I've handed over charge very gradually and seamlessly to the younger generation. There are challenges inside India, population, infrastructure. What are the things holding back do you see that should be changing in the short term? The main problem is very poor governance. Uh, and we earmark billions of dollars for, for the poor. Education, health, employment uh, money, those who are unemployed. Weaving the loans of farmers, which is a bad practice, but you know people are committing suicides, so you have to do that. But that money, I don't know what percentage of that money which is spent goes to the intended beneficiary. The company is headed by Rahul Bajaj who is worth around US dollar 3.4 billion. Bajaj Auto came into existence on 29 November 1945 as MS Bajraj Trading Corporation Private Limited. It started off by selling imported two- and three-wheelers in India. In 1959, it obtained a license from the government of India to manufacture two- and three-wheelers and it went public in 1960. In 1970, it ruled out its one lakh vehicle. In 1977, it sold one lakh vehicles in a financial year. In 1985, it started producing at Valuch near Aurangabad. 1986, it sold 5 lakh vehicles in a financial year. 1995, it rolled out its 10 million vehicle and produced and sold 1 million vehicles in a year. The demerger of Bajaj Auto Limited into three corporate entities, Bajaj Finserv Limited B. FL, Bajaj Auto Limited, BAL, and Bajaj Holdings and Investment Limited, BHIL, was completed with a shares listing on 26 May 2008. In November 2007, Bajaj Auto acquired 14.5% stake in KTM Power Sports AG, holding company of KTM Sports Motorcycles AG. The two companies have signed a corporation deal 
by which KTM will provide the know-how for joint development of the Watt Cool 4-stroke 125 and 250 cc engines and Bajaj will take over the distribution of KTM products in India and some other Southeast Asian nations. Bajaj said it is open to taking a majority stake in KTM and is also looking at other takeover opportunities. On 8 January 2008, Managing Director Rajiv Bajaj confirmed the collaboration and announced his intention to gradually increase Bajaj's stake in KTM to 25% and continue to buy more share in KTM by 47% total by April 2012. Bajaj has made motorcycles, scooters, auto rickshaws and most recently cars. Bajaj Auto has a capacity to manufacture 4 lakh 3 wheelers per year and it exports a major part of it. Motorcycles in productions are the XCD, Platina, Discover, Pulsar and Avenger. Bajaj also distributes motorcycles in India for other manufacturers such as the Kawasaki Ninja 250R, the Ninja 650R and new for 2012, the KTM Duke 200. Cars include the Bajaj ULC Ultra Low Cost Car. Bajaj Group is involved in a variety of welfare activities which are carried out with the support of its companies and trusts. The social and welfare objective of the Bajaj Group and being fulfilled through the many trusts and foundation it has established spending up to rupees 100 million us dollar 2.15 million every year Siksha Mandal Wada was established in 1914 by Jamnal Bajaj for educating the youth of India. This Mandal was a part of the national movement and received support for several national leaders including Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. It was also the first institute in India to prepare textbooks and conduct examination in Hindi and Marathi at the graduate level. Currently, the Mandal runs two commerce colleges in Wada and Nagpur, a science college and agriculture college, and ruler institute and a polytechnic at Wada. It has almost 10,000 students on its rolls. Six of its seven colleges are government-aided and hence its fees are low. It aims to provide values-based, high-quality education and it has succeeded in quite a measure. Its science college has been adjudged as a college with potential for excellence by the UGC. Its agriculture college has been rated as A by its affiliating university and its polytechnic has been rated as excellent by MSBTE. Kamal Nayan Bajaj School location at Chinchwat was established in 1976. Initially, it started off as a school providing education from lower KG to grade 12 and in 2007, it also started running a junior college. Janaki Devi Bajaj Institute of Management Studies was established in August 1997. It is a center of management studies and the postgraduate department of management education of the SNDT Women's University. It offers a variety of full-time and part-time professional courses at master's level and postgraduate diploma courses in management, especially for women. Jabnalal Bajaj Institute of Management Studies set up by the University of Mumbai in collaboration with the Graduate School of Business, Stanford University. With a donation from the Jamnanal Bajaj Seva Trust was established in 1965, it was the first to start a full-time two-year master's program in Management Studies MMS in India. Besides that, it offers various management courses for executives. TVS filed a suit against Bajaj under the Patents Act Section 105 and 106 seeking a declaration of non-infringement, groundless threats and compensation. Soon after, Bajaj filed an infringement suit against TVS. After pleadings in both suits finished and issues were framed, the first and most critical issue came up in trial. Who should let in evidence first? The single judge trying the suit concluded that infringement being the central theme in both the suits and even though the 
first suit proceeds on the validity of patent. To arrive at a proper decision, defendant Bajaj has to start with letting in of the evidence. Aggrieved by this, Bajaj filed appeals in connection with which the order I discussed today was passed. So, student, we got to know about the various expenses of Bajaj Group. We went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope the information about the company was useful to you. Have a good day ahead.